One of the things that I have the privilege of being able to do is recognize someone who this year has given more than we expect, more than I expected. The President's Award of Distinction is not given every year, and that makes it pretty special. For those of you who know me well, you know that I try my best to be a pretty responsive person. I know that if I don't return a text message or a voicemail or an email, as soon as I see it, the chances of it getting lost in the shuffle increase, and I don't want to do that. I have a capacity to forget things if I don't do them right then and there. And as a result, I began thinking about this president's award of distinction last fall. This spring, it became crystal clear to me who should receive this award. This individual served as my presidential appointee to the board, Mr. Doak Lambert. I asked Doak to serve as my appointee because as a contract auctioneer myself, in addition to selling real estate, I saw how few of our members in the contract auctioneer world we had in this capacity. That was one of my initiatives this year was to really beef that up, to improve that. We were failing in that area. I asked Doak, never hesitated. He did ask, what's required of me? And I have to ask Wendy. But when I told him what was expected, I said four face-to-face -face meetings, a couple of conference calls. He got permission and he agreed. And life as I knew it was really, really good. In August, we had a strategic planning meeting as we do every August, as we will this August, and the trustees of the Educational Institute presented their priorities to the board. One of them was to create a new designation for contract auctioneers, happy days. As we began to develop that task force to create this program, it was clear to me that our new board member, my presidential appointee, would be a phenomenal asset to this project. Not only is he a brilliant man, not only is he a, an amazing businessman, not only is he a premier livestock auctioneer, if not one of the best, if not the best in the country, and not only that, he's a premier automobile auctioneer. Doak agreed to serve despite yet another face-to-face -face meeting and conference calls after he got permission. As the task force finished the curriculum development, they began to look for instructors for the CAS designation. And once again, it was clear to me that my friend Doak had the name recognition and the expertise to draw attendees into this class and had the capability to be an excellent instructor. He agreed yet again to serve, requiring him two more face-to-face -face appearances. But that's, that's my friend Doak. A person who just doesn't say yes, when Doak says yes, he's all in. I talked about the cowboy way when I was running for vice president. Doak Lambert emulates the cowboy way. The class that he helped teach this past uh, Monday and Tuesday um, had more than a dozen students in it. Second time that CAS designation class has been done. Uh, I'm convinced that class will continue to grow. That designation will continue to grow. Dennis Barrett our good, good friend from Ireland, an amazing contract auctioneer in and of his own right, travels all over the world selling livestock, horses, uh, machinery, yellow iron, real estate, farm equipment, came to me yesterday, sought me out, and said, I've taken them all. Hands down, best designation class that I've ever taken. Doak Lambert and many other amazing minds had a big, big part to do with that. Doak, it's my pleasure to ask you to come to the stage, sir, and accept the President's Award of Distinction as my personal gratitude for the work you've done on development and instruction for CAS and for your work during the 16, 17 year as presidential appointee.